Hello and welcome. And I am very excited for this one. We're at Twin Ring Motegi in the Arca car. And I'm so excited because I've never been here before. This is a brand new track to me. And it's one that uh, I was part of the discussion for in the uh, iRacing forums about getting it added to this season's schedule. So uh, if you hate it, it's partly my fault. <laughs> Oops. But uh, I have loved it so far. Um, learning a new track. And uh, it's a tough one, too. Two completely different green, green, green. corners. Uh, one and two to three and four. You take them completely differently. And, uh, it's tricky. I don't have this figured out yet at all, whatsoever. I don't think I'm going to be very good. I'm going to be honest. This is all completely new to me, and you know, I'm still learning. I haven't, uh, I'm st I still, uh, use some more practice, to be honest. And uh, I know I can gain more time. Just, uh, it's a late night race. And, uh, so I don't know quite what to expect. But I don't expect to be all too competitive, to be honest. Uh, I'm just kind of hoping to learn something here. And it might not be the last time I've done this. Sometimes, but... <laughs> Even if I don't upload, I hope I get the chance to run it again. Because, uh... It's very exciting. Very exciting. There aren't too many tracks, ovals, I mean, that I can say that I've never driven before. Uh, and uh, this is one of them. So it looks like our qualifying lap's doing okay. We're the number two, by the way. Um, I, I'm coming into this expecting to lose I rating, because uh, I don't expect to be too great on a new track. But hey, our, our time's all right. We're about a tenth off the guy that's on pole now, and uh, we're pretty good ahead of uh, some of the other guys. Like fourth is a good uh, four tenths down. That's interesting. Wow, very. Uh, you can tell a lot of people are new to this. Maybe <laughs> so the times are very uh, well varied, <laughs> very varied. But uh, we got people coming in with uh, maybe their second lap, too, and still more people qualifying. So we'll see how our lap holds up. But the thing is, I have a feeling tire wear is going to be very important. Because I've noticed it falls off pretty darn quick. Particularly when you're taking turns one and two. Like, you can do a qualifying lap and hit that time I, I hit there. But I think it kills the right front when you come through here like that. So I think I'm going to be taking one to much softer during the race. This is all speculation. This is not a guide. This is me trying to figure this out. But I think I'm going to try to take one and two a lot easier during the race. And keep this thing from falling apart. Three and four, it's very easy to overdrive too. Because you have to get on the brakes. You really do. Which is very nice to say about a larger track. Reminds me of Nashville Super Speedway a little bit in that regard. So I think I might do like a little bit of drag of the brakes here to try to drive off the right rear when I can. Even if it is pretty loose early on, that's good. I want to use the right rear and try not to uh, burn up the right front. Hopefully it works. Hopefully everything works just fine. I got my brake glass all the way back. I think I might put it back further even in the car. Once we get going. Looks like I've fallen back to third. Yeah, it just barely beat me out. So, let's see. I'm sure I'll learn plenty during the course of this event. And uh, know how to do it better in the future. It's not going to be perfect this first time through, I guarantee you. But P3 is pretty good. 
let's uh, see what we can do. All right, we got one person that didn't show up. Stevie raced against him quite a bit. He does a lot of racing. All right, so I am going to go ahead and put this back. I think it'll be good to get that extra turn, especially in three and four. We're going to do session last lap because it is going to be a tire saving type of race. And hopefully not get run over. I am concerned about that. We are going to be saving tires, and I don't know if other guys are going to be so interested in doing that. <laughs> we'll see. And it could be the guys behind might be really good at saving tires because, you know, that's kind of the lap times they're running. You might get someone that's uh, just very consistent, very nice to the car, and they might be a uh, very good... Uh, they might compete very well. You never know. So, uh, very excited, though. Very excited. I don't care if I finish poorly here. I'm learning a new track, and it's very nice. Like I said, not too many tracks I haven't been to. Most of the tracks I haven't been to are short tracks, and mile and a half are my absolute favorite. So, uh, getting a new one of those, although I don't think it's I don't think this is exactly a mile and a half. I don't actually know, but it, uh, what I mean is obviously an intermediate track is what I'm trying to say. Getting a new intermediate track to uh, experience is pretty darn cool. So, um, participation not too bad for a later night, later in the night race. It is uh, Monday night into Tuesday morning. Just hit Tuesday as it passed midnight. So it is still early in the week. Maybe that's why I uh, still got a number of people coming in here for the first time. Or maybe not the first time, they've just been racing a lot today. Who knows, who knows. But uh, I was excited to do this, so... I was just hopping in a race, didn't really even care how many people signed up. We somehow avoided being the number one, so that's always good. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. Pit road is closed. So I'll have to remind myself... Be nice, be nice to the car. Tire save. So you can fly through one and two, but I think it's really going to hurt the car. Those are just my first impressions. I just remembered during practice, I did some fast laps. Not too many, just a couple. I uh, just pushing it hard, and uh, my right front wasn't looking too good. Not even uh, very long into a run. So, we got 35 laps here. Second gear start. We got 35 laps here, so we're gonna want to be nice to it. We're gonna want to have speed now and later. So racing in Japan. I think they did this in like 1999 or something in real life. The Cup Series, not in the Arca car though. About to go That's, green. Uh, Stay focused. Doing it here today. Very exciting. Garage car is on. Time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. There. Okay. Keep it smooth. Drive these corners. All right. Very good. Very good. See them kind of flying up there. Well, just trying to drive off the right rear instead of the right front. I think if I keep my mid corner and entry speed down, turns one and two, my better long run life. That's the hope. But you can really run it on the right rear in three and four if you get slowed down enough. Feels like. Just done a thirty-seven point five P three. Your lap time was thirty-seven point five. The guy behind has just done a thirty-seven point six. 
So keeping it low. It's a wide track, but don't think you need to use all of it. I think if you do start using all of it, you start wearing the tires. So I'm trying to avoid a little hard in there, a little harder than I would. Feeling good. All right. Your last lap time was at thirty-seven point five. Just trying to wait till mid to late corner before I start really getting more on the gas, so that way I'm on the right rear instead of the right front. I feel like I'm saying the same thing in different ways over and over again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just trying to uh, express my thought process here. Uh, see how it goes, you know. We've got half a second back to Lilac back there, and then got a nice gap behind them. Like I mentioned before, it could be those guys end up coming back real fast later on, because maybe running the pace they are back there is really gonna make them come alive. I don't know. Haven't done a race yet. So I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. For now I can feel pretty comfortable with the gap. We'll say I put my steering ratio at 12 to 1, and that's because when it does get loose, it gets real loose. And so I'm kind of just relying on my uh, my myself not to use the wheel to turn and remember to use the brakes to slow down and the uh, you know the accelerator to kind of get it turned on the exit of the corner a little bit. So. Kind of just trusting myself to be good and not turn the wheel too much. And it uh, helps me feel like I've got a little bit more fine control over uh, what the car is doing. Feel it turning. It really gets turning on the exit there. Just trying to put it at a good balancing act. Pulling away a little bit, but uh, it's because I'm not trying to push, I'm trying to be consistent. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll pull away and stay away. There's still a lot of race to go. That's what I'm banking on here. Hoping we'll start reeling them in once this thing gets later stages. That was a thirty-eight point zero. It's number five behind. Looks like they're ready to go. However, or maybe they've saved better than I have. They're catching up. We're gonna have to watch that. We'll let them go easy if they uh, get up next to us or something. Uh, just fighting them is just going to undo some progress and uh, lay waste to a bunch of the tire saving we've done. You've just done a Not too interested in fighting for uh, third. Like, I know I can go much faster right now for one and two, but I'm just trying to be disciplined. Like they kind of fell back a little bit. Not sure what uh, where they're going. If they're going to be continue getting closer, or if uh, 
one or both of us are just inconsistent. <laughs> I think maybe they're pushing a little harder in one and two. If they're catching up then, and I think we gain a little bit out of three and four. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, still not even halfway though. Lots to go. I don't know. Maybe I can push harder in one and two than I think I can. Just in my little, uh, in my limited practice, I will say I didn't get as much practice as I would like. But in my limited practice, it looked like driving hard through one and two just killed the right front. And that's what I'm trying to avoid here. So they definitely are gaining in one and two. Got offline a little bit there. Hoping that it'll just rear me. Hoping they are better than that. Because <laughs> I know they want to take one and two harder. I'm just not feeling it. I'm sticking to my guns here. And if it doesn't work, I'll know for next time. It's kind of the idea. But I need them to not just run me over in one and two. That's good consistency, keep it up. Hmm. It's getting tighter in three and four. I know that everyone else has to be feeling it too. So I feel like I've pretty, uh. I'm probably overdoing it on tire savings, is what I'm trying to say. So if I'm feeling tired in 3 and 4, I imagine people definitely feeling tired in 3 and 4 if they aren't trying to save a bunch. There, I got too low for a while. That was not good. Lost a lot of time. Missing my mark there. Very chatty. I got a thanks in there. I'm wondering if that was sarcastic or not. You never quite know unless you see exactly what happened. Please don't rear in me. They don't seem to be falling off all that much. Taking it harder than I am. The, uh, there's not enough laps for it to make too much of a difference. No. Of the bottom line, pretty good there, though. I think it's better to get a better runoff than to take that extra speed mid corner. It'll be better for long run speed. And I mean, if you're still going to get up, get a decent amount of speed by getting a better runoff by not overdriving the center, this seems like the better option. 
by Colton. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Distance says. I feel like they're pulling away from me still, though. So there's probably somewhere on the track. You could push harder. Still make time. Uh oh, I got somebody that I guess spun. It's this lap car of a 10. Hope they're not going to be in the way. No chicken streakers, please. Might be able to push a little harder on exit out of turn two. Catching up to the six, though, I think their tires are falling off a little bit. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Yeah, I think there's speed to be had by keeping it low out of two and getting more aggressive on the throttle. Because if you do that, you're you're on the right rear, and so you can push it a little harder and not kill the tires. You just gotta wait, you gotta be patient. Until you're most of the way through the corner. Ten is having a lot of trouble out of turn four, though, I'll tell you that. Because they apparently spun before, half spun before, and then they got sideways there, too. Really wish they weren't on the preferred racing line right now. But what you gotta do? That feels great, though. It doesn't feel super tight or anything. Definitely gonna need to get this guy to get out of the way. Car outside. Outside, clear. Take the corner a little harder than I want. Buy him, but it seems like we're okay. We are catching this six. And we have plenty of time to get to him, too, because we still have over 10 laps to go, so that's good. So it seems like the tire strategy is going to work pretty well here. I overdrove that, though. That was not great. Overdrove three and four there. At least it was kind of fast. <laughs> but not what I want to be doing. We're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 0.5. That lap was a 38.2. Very fun to drive though. Keeps me engaged. Lots to think about. Very tricky to get quite right. I'm very much enjoying this so far. Yeah, he's real tight. Now exiting four, we're gonna fly past him. Alright, so. We're better at saving tires than he was, at least. Keep low. Keep Back low. out. Outside. Take the corner a little awkwardly. Get on that right rear. Did we gonna hit the wall? He got real close if he did. Didn't, I mean. Big challenge ahead. It's the number one. I reading says I'm not supposed to be able to beat this guy. Just see about that, won't we? Patience on that throttle. Rolled loose. He's making it through one and two faster than we are. Maybe that's because he's pushing too much? Maybe, maybe. Let's see. Keeping it low. Three and four. Car's still rotating great there. 
And we gained about two tenths on him in three and four. I like it. The lap time was at 38.2. Good consistency. Keep him coming. The gap in front is now 2.5. We're good. On the right rear. That's where I want it. I think you can get on it pretty good in the middle of three and four. Because uh, once you're going a little slower, it's uh, more eager to be on the right rear. We're catching them, but I'm not so sure it's going to be fast enough. Oh man, that six fell off hard. They got passed by the five. Oh, I wonder if they got the wall or something, or if they've, they're really just, they hit that wall hard enough. I'm telling you, I did just a couple laps during practice, and the right front just completely burned off. You've just done a 38 Tires matter a lot here, it seems like. Oh, good. Getting the hang of it. Ooh, man, we got coming up to six laps to go. We're gaining on them, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. I don't want to necessarily push super hard, because then we're just going to end up with bad tires, too. I think I just want to be consistent. I think we are consistent enough, hit the marks well enough, that'll be our best chance. I just worry he's too far out there. I think that might be the case. The gap ahead is now 1.8 seconds. That's where we're going to gain a lot of our time though, 3 and 4. That tighter corner means that having more grip matters more. We almost gets the wall. Might have had to lift in order not to hit the wall there. instinctively pushing just a little harder even though I'm trying to not let myself do it. I want to get there. Okay, Colton. Up times are pretty consistent. Ooh. Oh, we're running out of time. get through three and four so well. That lap time was 38.2. The gap in front is now 0.9. Ooh, we got pretty loose there. Oh, we're gonna have two to go. time we just gained. Oh, we're almost there. Two to go. Two more. Let's go. Two laps left. Come on. You're looking good for a podium. We're setting the pace. That lap was at 38.3. Fastest car on track, according to crew chief. That's what I like to hear. Oh, you can tell he's pushing hard. I overdrove it a little bit, though. Wipe 
<laughs> Here we go. Gonna be another one of those classic twin ring Motegi finishes. Alright, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. You match your race pace. Oh man, good win. One more lap, man. <laughs> There's the flag. It's over. Yeah, good race, dude. I saw you coming. I was like, damn. Great job. You did that. really well. Good race. Good win. That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. This track's awesome. <laughs> that was great. Just short. One of the funnest, most chill track I've ever. Oh, so close. Oh, man. It had to be a 35 lap race. Couldn't have been my number. My 36. <laughs> That's my car number. When they don't stamp one on my car. Oh, my God. Look how clean that was, too. We only got two guys with two X's. I assume that's hitting the wall, too. That was great. That's definitely not going to be my last race of the week there. So I'm going to put tires. See if anyone else is interested. Eight. One. I think I did a pretty good job, and that was after pushing a little bit near the end. So I feel like uh, I feel like tires mattered. I feel like I was kind of correct in that regard, but uh, maybe I should have gone a little harder. Maybe I think I learned later in the race too late in the race maybe that uh, you can push it a little harder through the exit of two and still be on the right rear i think maybe if i discovered that a little sooner in the race maybe that just little extra bit would have found it i don't know could have been should have been would have been blah 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 you can always do the what ifs so it's a little bit of wall there Link is a little wall. Oh, now my internet's getting weird. A little yellow. I hope that wasn't happening during the race. Oh, and then we got an overcorrect. You said it too, and then they just uh, lost it. That's why I wanted 12 to 1. Having that extra bit of control, as they uh, don't have any turn anymore. I like having that extra bit of control. And uh, so long as I'm disciplined with my throttle and brakes. Steering ratio shouldn't kill me just because it's shorter. This guy, he's got like 20 to 1 or something. <laughs> he's having a lot of trouble. This same guy that had trouble, uh... Well, we're lapping him too. Oh, good lord. He was an 8th at that point, so... That must have been his initial wreck that put him in the back. tight. I'm glad I noticed that during practice too. <laughs> because if you get a little too high on the track, it will send you up there. Not too much banking. So you end up like this. If you're not careful. That's just not turning all for them. I think if, you, uh, if you're too hard on this car, the tires will fall off real bad. And then there's your winner. So close. So close. Okay, let's see that, uh... Let's, let's see the final lap. It's just like... Uh, we gained so much time on We were coming, man. One more lap. One more lap. But it was so much fun. Even finishing second there, that was, that was a blast. So... We gained a little bit through one and two. But what we're really gaining is three and four. Because I definitely think that uh, we had much better tires. So I just dive in a little more shallow. Get on it a little bit harder. You know what? Maybe if I were a big jerk, 
Maybe I could have tapped him. But you'll notice I wasn't about to do it. I was a little more hesitant. Maybe I should, maybe, no, no, don't, don't wreck the guy, don't wreck the guy. <laughs> We're racing this way. But man, he protected the bottom like he needed to. And, uh, he has a cool car, by the way. Yeah, he protected the bottom like he needed to. He didn't overdrive the corner. We would have had it if he overdrove the corner, probably. But, uh, he did what he needed to, and then that was just wishful thinking by me after that, like, oh, side draft or something. It wasn't happening. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just me wishing. That was, that was so much fun. Definitely recommend it. If you don't have uh, Twin Ring Motegi and you're on the fence, I recommend it. Very, very fun. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. I know we didn't make it. We didn't. We didn't reach the front, but we had a fun time trying, and uh, found a good way, a, f a good method of saving tires. I think learned a lot about what I could potentially do in the future to do even a little bit better. And uh, I think I might be back later this week, recorded or not. I think I'll be back. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.